Hello guys and welcome to Comet and it's time for another tutorial and today we're going to create a compass but only not only a compass but also that it will face towards where the next mission is or the object we need to go to and we are going towards the UE folder and here we got three uh, textures we just discussed about. I'm not going to create those on camera because I think a lot of people can do this or want to know a style or whatever but if you guys want me to do it please put it in the comments and if enough people request it, I will create a tutorial about it. Here is the compass, it's just the background. Here's a needle for the mission and it needs to face downwards. Here's a needle for the north and this needs to face upwards. That's very important because otherwise the system will not work. Then we're going to create a new script and we're going to call it compass. So create C sharp script compass. Just open it. And we start with, well, creating or adding a few different variables. A public factor tree. North direction. So we know what uh, north direction is. And we also need that for actually calculating where the mission is. Because we can easily know where uh, the mission is from your point but you also need to add the rotation of the object itself from the player itself because otherwise it will still not uh, say the right direction then we also have a public transform player and this is because um, a lot of times your camera is not attached to your player but uh, for example if you're cutting current theft auto you're just rotating around it and you want to update it on the player or maybe even the camera but for this time we're just going to do the player um, that's just how you want to do it. Um, you have a rotation, a quadration for the mission direction. Whoopsie. And we are also going to use the Unity Engine, Unity Engine UE system because, of course, the whole uh, Compass itself is on the UE layers. So we just put it right here. And here we are going to remove the start function. We don't need it. And we're going to create in the end two different functions. Uh, the public void change north direction. And we are also going to create a new function called change mission direction. And before we're going to forget it, uh, forget it, we are going to add it inside the update. So it first change north direction, of course, and afterwards the change mission direction. So now first the north direction. And north direction is not very hard. The only thing we need to do is saying that the north direction dot the set because we the changing on the uh, on the actual compass is of course a little bit different than from an object. So if we're going towards our camera, you can see that the camera is well um, that we need to rotate it around the set axis because if here is standing the compass, it's in this space that's the up uh, facing towards the camera. But when you are globally the i-axis is facing uh, upward, so we need to face from the uh, i-axis. So that's why we need to uh, recalculate everything, uh, so everything works. Um, so the north direction dot set uh, is the same as player dot. Oops, player dot Euler angles dot i. Now we're going to. Uh, assign it so the north mm, I'm very sorry if you've got it uh, we need to add here two variables a public um, rect transform north layer and a public rect transform mission layer so now we're going to add here the north layer and from that the local and it's very important that local earlier angles 
it's going to be the same as the north direction. Then the, that's everything for the change north direction. Now we're going towards the change mission direction, and we are going to do that. That we're first going to calculate from the actual player to which direction is the object where we want to face the mission needle to. So a factor three dot direction is the same as transform dot position minus um, the mission player. So let's just create a new transform. Okay transform uh, mission place. Uh, this is normally in another script where you store all your missions and shit, but we're just going to do it for now uh, like this. Then we need to make it to, uh, we need to change it towards a rotation. So we're going to say that the mission direction is the same as coordination dot look rotation and from that to the direction now it all sounds like it's right isn't it but now we need to change it a little bit because if the mission uh, direction is still on the global um, axis so as i said the i axis is up well we need the set axis to be uh, facing up so we are co just going to change that with mission direction dot set Oops, mission direction dot z is the same as minus mission direction dot i. And now we're going to reset the other uh, two um, axes. We're just going to put right zero. So now we've got everything. We only need to uh, put it on the mission layer. So mission layer dot local rotation again local rotation. That's very important because otherwise it won't work. It's the same as mission direction multiplied by the coordination dot Euler of north direction. And now we got. Um, all the code. Now we only need to assign it within our uh, object. So we start creating a new uh, canvas, and we're just going to and we're just going to assign everything that uh, it will be right uh, for the, this camera. So we're just going to assign the camera right here. If you guys want me to create a tutorial specific about the UE. Uh, things within the scene we need the editor just put it in the comment section and I will try to create it um, so now it will scale with the uh, screen size so that's fine and now we just put an image and we're going to call it compass and we're just going to put this right here so it will be uh, well just on the left corner the problem with this, because we need to make a rotation, the rotation right, if you're just going to leave it like this, the rotation won't be right from the needles. So what we need to do is actually create another image above it. And we're just going to turn down here the image, by the way. But this one is going to be facing in the center. And now we're just going to put here the compass. We are going to put beneath that an image. By the way, we're going to call this the background. And we want to be that the north needle is beneath the um, mission needle. So first we're going to put the north needle here. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller because as you can see, it's well over the edge of the object so just going to put here well um let's say 80 and we're just going to duplicate it uh, maybe a little bit smaller even 75 just do whatever you want uh, and what you think is realistic and we're going to add here the compass mission and we're going to make this even smaller we're going to make this 60 and it's kind of like how it also looks like when you're having a clock and i think it's the right way to do this um, and we're going to call this of course mission layer because otherwise you don't know what you are going to do anymore 
Then here you just add the compass and you're just going to assign everything. So the player is in this case the uh, camera itself. The north layer is just this one. The mission layer is this one. Oops. And let's just create a new object and call it mission. So we can also test that. And otherwise we also get errors if we don't fill in this in. So we should probably do this. Um, and then we just going to see if it works. Um, so let's see. This it's facing that way, so it needs to be in front of it. And that's right. And if you just move this around, you can see it keeps uh, pointing towards the mission. And also if you just rotate the actual camera itself, you will see that the north direction is still the right position. So that's this for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with another tutorial. Bye.